Somebody got my yogurt. I need my yogurt. Where's my yogurt? I want what I want. We're just going to dolly into you, and it's really just sort of feeling the environment, just sort of being in the zone. Being one. Being with one. With nature. The next shot is real world set, so everyone's going to be dressed like, you know, kind of normal, but like real world style, like kind of MTV. You, know, you ever watch that show? Yeah. So, like, you just got to get the... Yes, I watch it every day, as a matter of fact, Joseph. So, because we are all fans of MTV. We are all great fans of MTV, and we love MTV. Oh, the camera's... Oh, yeah, anyways. You tell Eminem to come here, okay? Yeah, that's and right. face me, okay? One-on-one, on one. One on one, not with Dre, exhibit, him and me, okay? Me and him, him and me, 12 o'clock, dusk. Hey, yo, exhibit's here. I don't need no makeup. Heel G. Notice the feet, the feet, the feet. Should I walk in like more gangster like? <laughs> Heel G. My crew is called the Illogical, Mathematical, Hypothetical, Numerical, Lyrical Crew. We ain't really made a demo yet. Well, I can spit a flow for you right now. I hit you in the eyebrow. Why now? How? She's writing gangster on my shirt. I got spasmatic attack habits and packmatics like jackrabbits and medicine and snack cabinets. Original gangster. And I go in between the lines and find the rhyme behind the mind. Divine. That's his little taste right now. And then at some point, you're going to be kind of silhouetted in the doorway. You'll, you can look out at like the dark house. Which would be past the Insert house. You, he there. just did a ghost face on me. <laughs> <laughs> he did a strawberry iceberg daiquiri buttercup pinky ring and chocolate wallaby style. He said, What'd you say? Silhouetted in the doorway, looking out at the dark house. Pinky ring and medallion flow. Strawberry kiwi buttercup iced out. The caramel. What's up, everybody? I'm Eminem. I'm right here in New York right now on Shade 45, Sirius Satellite Radio Station. And if y'all ain't got it, go get it. First of all, let's get it started. You ain't repping the streets. You from the outskirts of Detroit. Antagonize your label till I get my respect. Oh, no, yeah, that, 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 that was, I, I totally understand where you come from. Question from Scavenger456. The Which is not his real name or identity. <laughs> no. Could be a her, could be a him, could be an it. Which is a, it, it's a metaphor, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> hey, yo, you listening to the DJ Who Kid right now, the official, the biggest bootlegger on the planet. He will bootleg anything and everything. If you have a couch at home, he will bootleg it. It will be so in Chinatown at your local bodega. It doesn't matter. He is DJ Who And he has left the studio. And he has left the building. What's going on? Yo, this cat's wildin' right here, you know what I'm saying? First of all, mad love on the show, you know what I'm saying? But yo, just, I, I gotta get the one regular ass question out, man. How'd you get with Dre, man? I'll tell you what, I seen him laying on a street corner. I picked him up, I dusted him off, I said, hey, Dre. You know what? I'll give you a record deal and I'm going to make some beats for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to rap with me, okay? And then I'm going to take you and I'm going to take you in the studio and I'm going to make you a star. So I made Dr. Dre a star and then uh, here I am. Word. So, but they don't know that you've been doing this before Dre was even in the picture, man. What's up with that? Stay rec- Yo, son! Yo, son! Stay recognized, son! You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I've been, I've been, I've been in the game for the get-go, son! Word, word up, man. So what's what's coming up, man? You out on tour now, man. What's what's coming up in the future? Um, I'm gonna be touring with Dre later on in the summer. I'm gonna finish my tour, then I'm gonna be touring with Dre, then I'm gonna start my second album. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 yo. You ain't never seen momentum switch like this since you witnessed 50 Cent coming, but you know who out of business. This is it. This is about as intense as it gets. If you're looking for suspense, this is the it gets. Whoa, wait a minute. Didn't mean to curse, but yo, I'ma check it out with one verse. I'ma kick it. My name is Eminem, Slim Shady, whatever you guys want to call me. And this is MTV, which means I control the channel and I play only the videos that I want to play. As a matter of fact, I think I might even ask a question. Has anybody from the audience got a question? I do. Hi. Hi. What is your name? Anime. Adame? Yeah. Hi, Adame. Hi. How are you? My, my name is Marshall. Really? Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Do you have a question for me or anything? Um, can you please tell us about your new album? Like, do you have a favorite track on it? 
No, I don't. My album sucks. But if I if I really had to pick an it, it, like you know like a particular favorite, I guess I would say um, the track called "The Running Man." <laughs> and it's really like where I try to bring this like you know hammer style back, you know, and I'm trying to like I'm trying to kind of bring that back and um, trying to throw a little old school in there. You know, like really, really old school. That's why I, I, I even got Everlast on the track. That's how old school I am. How's the pain, really? Poor little old man. <laughs> <clears throat> Believe me. Hey, yo. What's going on? We're back here with MTV right now. That was Aaliyah. Let's take a look over to the window. Like I said, we was going to pick somebody out of the audience and bring them up. So let's take a look at what's going on over here. Hi. Hi, how you and then it was like, but that was that was like Carson out there. That's Carson. Hold on, let's, yo, let's invite Carson up before he gets hurt out there. He, he's a fragile little boy. Come on, come on, come on up, Carson. Yeah, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Dude, I better win because I'm tired. And also, don't forget about the Up and Smoke tour with myself, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Nate Dogg, Warren G, June 15th. Come out and check that out. This is Eminem, MCB. Thank you for staying tuned in or whatever. Right now, we are chilling with the uh, man who's making a lot of noise, Mr. Eminem. How you doing, son? I'm good. Who's that? This is the D today to the V-E-Y-D, Davey D. I actually meant who's Eminem. Oh, did I mispronounce your name? No, I just, I killed him. Oh, you changed it, so Slim Shady? No, it's it's actually Ralph. Ralph, okay, man, we're here with my man Ralph. I like that, man, Ralph is a good uh, name. Ralph, it's Fred, did I, say, did I say Ralph? Fred. Fred. Yo, so let me ask you, man, um, you know, for some people, this is your first time that we're hearing you, so they're saying you just came out of nowhere, but folks uh, who are, I guess, into the game, right? Known that you've been around for a while, so it was another kid, um, Chaos and Maestro. Some, some yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them guys. I remember them guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I never got a chance to like really meet with them, though. You know what I mean? That was, yo. I was like, I was a kid when they came out. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me ask you, man. You got a unique style um, in terms <clears throat> of you're kind of funny, but you got some vicious punchlines. And you always have a lot of twists and ironies in uh, the way you present yourself. And people know that you battle. I mean, who is? Would you battle KRS-One? I would battle. I would battle anybody who calls me out. And people better know that. And if they do, wait. You, you know. You know what? I don't take. I don't even take battling as serious as I used to. I, I usually do it for the fun. So it's like it's all love. So whoever wants to come to the table with it, you know what? Bring it. What are these reports about you doing a boxing movie? Is that really happening? I box, but as far as doing a movie, I just I just do it for you know the cardiovascular and just to you know to get hit and hit back. You know that's always fun. I just do it because, just because I love the sport. The problem is I don't know if you heard the song, the new song that I have, but it talks about the guilt of always having to leave. You know, and at the time was was mainly Haley that it was affecting. You know, literally the things that I say in the song about the the her giving me the coin mm -hmm. and you know putting boxes in front of the door to to try to block it, you know, to try to stop mm -hmm. me from leaving. Those things really happen, and I'm at a point in my life right now where I feel like I I don't know where my career is going right now. This could be the final thing. We you know we don't know. Wow. Wow, that's big. So Haley would put boxes in front of the door to keep you from leaving to go out on the road again? Yes, and it and it killed me when she uh, would do that. And mm. and just writing just writing the song. I mean, when I hear the second verse of that song, everything in it is so true that you know, literally, I'm in the booth. Like there's 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 two songs that I've done where I was in the booth, actually, you know, recording the song. And had to stop, you know, just from being teary-eyed, just just because of, you know, and and this new song, a couple of emotional songs. I mean, probably the most emotional that I've wrote. Th this song is like basically what 
you know, the guilt that I've had to deal with from from leaving because I hated leaving my family. Like, you know, leaving leaving my home for the stage, you know, which I realized that I had to do, you know, is is to be out there in front of people. And but you got to decide, like, you got to sit there and just figure out what's more important. And right now, there's nothing more important than my family. Uh -huh.